How's it going everyone? This is SASGQ bringing you another MAGFED paintball video. This is the game of SEAL Team 6. It's a MAGFED only event. Um, in this first little clip, I'm going to be using the new MAGWELL from Stark Pursuit, which uses the Zeta Mags for your M17. Check it out. Now right here, I found some guys. Um, I was getting everything ready so I could take them out, but silly me, I forgot to engage the Zeta Mag, so I just shot all fully auto without anything coming out. I would have got them no problem. Now, they still don't know where my position is, but after this burst where I still forget to engage my Zeta Mag, um, then they get an idea of where I am. But still not, they're still not sure exactly. So now I'm like, what's going on? Do I have a break in there or what? So I'm there cleaning out my barrel and everything. Meanwhile, the simple thing was just to engage my Zeta Mag. So got to get used to that. But other than that, um, my opinions on that on the day that I used it. I only have two Zeta mags, so I couldn't really judge it based off of like how many rounds I could shoot. Um, but that is 40 rounds, so should be good enough. But it wasn't nowhere near as much as I needed. Um, I have way more like normal M17 mags that I could have on me. Um, M the, the Zeta mag is really light compared to the M17 mag, you could actually have like two loaded Zeta mags and it'll feel like one loaded uh, Milsig M17 mag. Um, the only thing with the Zeta mags is you have to remember to engage them and that's what's going to kill me. Uh, so the second half of the day I just took that mag well off uh, and then used my other mags so that I could have a lot more rounds on me. Um, the thing that I don't like about the Zeta Magwell is that it seems to chop the paintballs. It really does. I mean, when I was using the Zeta Magwell for the first half of the day, I was noticing breaks. Um, I didn't know if they were breaking inside my barrel or they were breaking like they were chopping. But I switched to the normal. M17 Magwell. After this part right here, I was actually um, the demo for this Get game, up. so I was in charge. I was in Get charge up. of uh, diffusing the bombs that the enemy team would set, uh, depending on what time they set it to. Would bomb? mean how how much time I would have to diffuse the bomb. Um. They gave me a little book, or well, they gave me like a view of the laptop, one of the pages, and it told me that the order of which I had to cut the wires. Yeah. But I looked at that laptop about like an hour and a half before this right here. Um, the bomb is actually on the other side of the boat, so I kind of forgot on the colors because I was busy doing so many things. Right here no, was hit. actually, we hit. got ambushed right, the by the Team Ghost Company, but shoot luckily it, they it. didn't hit me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a hit. key target right I'm now, but not a lot of people know that I am the demo. Um, right here, we lose 100 points because we're not supposed to be moving the bomb, but we did, and we get yelled at here. And there it is. We lost 100 points. But luckily, <laughs> the bomb it? still had a lot of time on it. So the timer kept going. We get another chance to defuse the bomb. So here I go running in with the, with the shield. With my teammate with the shield. We go in. 
and I have no way to cut these wires. So he's like, you better not pull the wires. Because he actually made this bomb. So that was that was the cool thing about it. So I go over here, and I'm getting, uh, we're getting ambushed again by Team Ghost Company. Um, the bad thing is, in this position, the bomb is in the m exact middle of both two teams. So on the back side of us, we have Team Ghost Company. And on the front side of us, we have the third party, the pump players. Where's the shield? Where's the shield? So that's why we're all like getting shot at from every angle. So now, this is the point where I realize I've seriously messed up. I cut the wrong wire. And as you can see, the bomb click. And I thought that was it. I thought blew it blew up. That's it. It blew up. beeps a few times and that's it. Yep. But, Holy shit. as you can see there, it <laughs> oh literally God. blew up. And that was so loud. My ears were literally ringing for like an hour and a half. It was bad. Okay, so in this clip, this is the second half of the day. That was the first half. But this is the second half. I changed my mag well, so now I'm using M17 mags. Um, I have a lot more of them than I do the uh, the Zeta mags, so you're going to see a lot more shots. And I'm not going to be afraid to use more paint. But here I see a bunch of guys, or, and this one lady. I see a bunch of people here. So they have no idea I'm on yellow team because I flanked that whole side. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And six. <laughs> You're dead. You're dead. Multi kill. Courtesy shot straight to the back. Did him a favor. And then after I took out all of them, I was like, hey, I'm already in the back of their spawn. Let me just do it again. So I ran away. Check out this. He turns around, sees me. I'm like, holy shit. So I run over here. Sad. <laughs> I was so, like, scared. I was, like, that that fell. I was going to use that to my advantage, but it fell. So I was just like, all right. I spray a bunch, a bunch. Choo -choo -choo. And I took out one... Yep. I took out one over here in that house, and I take out another right here. There's actually three people here, so I took out one already. Took out two, and there's a third guy back there. And I believe he's using first strike rounds. So I see him falling back because he knows my shots are, are near him. He starts to fall back and I just pick up my stuff and I decide to fall back. Live to shoot another day. So put all my stuff away and I get up out of there. So that about wraps it up for this MagFed action video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please like, leave a comment if you wanted to know anything more about the Zeta Magwell. Um, subscribe so you could be the first one to see part two to this video. Um, and that's about it. See you guys in the next one. Bye.